This is part two of my series on gay movies and shows to watch on Hulu. If you missed part one after watching this video, check it out. Gay content is difficult to find on Hulu because you can't search by LGBT content. Therefore, I wanted to simplify your life and save you the trouble by giving you the best gay content available on the streaming service. Also, all of the titles are in the description if you miss them. Stay tuned. Ailey is a documentary about the choreographer Alvin Ailey. I can't remember the first time that I heard the name Alvin Ailey. His name has always lived in the branch of black queer heroes. However, the first time I saw Revelations, a piece that he choreographed, it changed my life. Ailey celebrates the legacy of the legend who founded Alvin Ailey Dance Theater, a modern dance company in New York, founded in 1958. The documentary explores how Ailey converted blood memory into movement, revolutionizing black participation in concert dance. The documentary, in turn, uses movement and emotion to tell his story. Even though the documentary paints his story with a wide brush, if you are a fan of dance or documentaries, you will love Ailey. The film has a 90% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Fourth Man Out is a 2015 comedy directed by Andrew Nackman. In the film, Adam, a car mechanic in a small town, comes out to his lifelong friends who are a group of bros, the kind of bros who make casual homophobic jokes. Some might think that the jokes are stale or outdated. However, if you are looking for lighthearted humor with a gay lead, this is the film for you. The film premiered at the Inside Out Film Festival, then received the Audience Award for Best Dramatic Feature Film at Outfest. Adam, played by Evan Todd, who is openly gay, is the co-founder of START and Arts Inside Out, two art empowerment programs benefiting students from Florida as well as children affected by HIV in South Africa. Supernova is a 2020 romantic drama starring Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci. Stanley plays Tusker and Colin plays Sam. The couple, having been together for 20 years, travel across England to visit family and friends after Stanley's character has been diagnosed with early onset dementia. Supernova premiered at the San Sebastian International Film Festival in 2020. If you prefer romantic dramas, or films with mature characters, this is the film for you. Supernova has an 89% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I have an issue with straight characters playing LGBT characters, but technically it's against the law to ask someone what their sexuality is in a job interview. Casting calls are interviews, but Firth and Tucci are seasoned actors who have real chemistry on screen together. Difficult People is a Hulu original created by Julie Klausner, starring her and Billy Eichner. They are 30-year-old struggling comedians living in New York City. The show has three seasons and premiered in 2015. Billy played a gay character. It might feel as if you're watching an episode of Billy on the Street with friends. Amy Poehler served as a producer on the series. Several comedians and well-known actors guest starred and made cameos on the show. If you like Billy on the Street, you will enjoy Difficult People. Each season has about 10 episodes that are about 30 minutes in length, so you can easily binge watch this over the weekend. Difficult People has a 96% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. God's Own Country is probably 2017's most awarded gay film. It is a romantic drama that won 32 awards, including a directing award for Francis Lee at the Sundance Film Festival and received 42 nominations, including a BAFTA. The film follows a young sheep and cattle farmer improperly managing the family business after his father suffers a medical emergency. 
His life is transformed by a Romanian migrant worker hired to help him. It is a simple film with complexity. The small gestures and tender moments carry an emotional weight that deliver more than dialogue. The cinematography is lush and gorgeous. Francis Lee, the director, also directed Ammonite with Kate Winslet. Midnight Kiss is a Hulu original which is part of the Into the Dark Horror Anthology series. The film follows a group of gay best friends and their straight female friend as they celebrate New Year's Eve together in the desert. Jealousy and resentment has torn the friendships apart. Then a killer emerges. If you like queer slasher films, then you will love Midnight Kiss. However, the characters are not really fleshed out, the acting is a bit wobbly, and the gore isn't gory enough for a slasher film. Blumhouse, the production company behind the film, requested that the casting director select gay actors to play all of the gay roles in the film. And I love that. I wish more production companies would actually make this call. Booksmart is a teen comedy directed by Olivia Wilde that features gay and lesbian characters front and center. Noah Galvin from The Real O'Neills, Austin Crute, Caitlin Deaver, and Diana Silvers play LGBT characters navigating their identities. The film centers around two high school students who realized the day before graduation that students who slacked off and partied were also getting into top colleges. They decide to party as hard as the slackers. Booksmart has a 96% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. In an interview, Austin Crute stated playing Alan was the first time he played a gay character and it was part of his journey with his identity. He had come out to his parents when he first got the role. So any writers and directors watching this, playing LGBT characters can help actors who are questioning their sexuality write more of these roles to let the healing start. Then, people who see themselves in the characters can also start to heal by coming out to themselves first and then others. Josh Thomas, the star of Everything's Gonna Be Okay, also created the show. Josh plays Nicholas. Nicholas returns home and has to raise his two sisters after their father's untimely death. Nicholas dates Alex, who is played by Adam Faison. Faison also played in Midnight Kiss. Mason Gooding from Love, Victor appeared on season one of the show. Everything's Gonna Be Okay is a strangely packaged queer family comedy that would fit right in on ABC. My favorite character is Tallulah. She is written with the right kind of inappropriate adult humor for a family show. If you enjoy family comedies, or if you enjoyed Please Like Me, which is also on Hulu, you will enjoy Everything's Gonna Be Okay. Please Like Me is an Australian TV comedy also created by and starring Josh Thomas. After being dumped by his girlfriend, Josh realizes that he is gay. Like Everything's Gonna Be Okay, the writing is clever and takes you to unexpected places. The main character is awkward and complex, and the show tackles serious issues like mental health, loss, and betrayal with camp and quirky delight. While Josh is navigating his sexual identity, he deals with a mother with mental health issues. His father can't let go of his ex-wife, and his ex-girlfriend is falling for his best friend. Thomas served as a writer for most of the episodes. It premiered in 2013 on ABC in Australia and has four seasons. Wolfie aka Max Remelt from Sense8 and the latest Matrix movie stars in Freefall so I had to watch this film. Mark is a police officer with a baby on the way then he meets fellow policeman Kay played by Max. This is a traditional love triangle. Mark and Kay are electric as the forbidden sides of the triangle. The love and passion for Kay and the fear and guilt in Mark's eyes are haunting as well as recognizable. His life is in a free fall.
The movie won eight awards, and the actor who played Mark was nominated for a German Film Award, which is the equivalent to the Academy Awards. This is a beautiful film that you should watch. Although Thelma doesn't have any gay male leads, it is probably one of the best LGBT supernatural dramas. Thelma was released in 2017 out of Norway. Thelma leaves her isolated town to start college against her parents' wishes. A new romantic relationship with a female classmate unleashes a psychosomatic manifestation of repressed emotions as she tries to fight the feelings. The Hollywood Reporter selected Thelma as one of the best LGBT films of 2017. The film has a 93% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. Also in the comments section, let me know which shows that you will be watching, if I missed any shows that are available on Hulu, and what are your favorite gay shows or shows that have gay storylines on Hulu. Please check out part one of this video series if you missed it. Don't forget, all of the titles are in the description if you missed them. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.